Hey, what's up DIYers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, we are going to install a vise on our Craftsman six foot workbench. Pretty excited about this. Let's get started. All right, DIYers, in front of us is our six feet long Craftsman workbench, and this is a pretty slick bench. And we are going to install a vise on it. A couple things you will need are bolts, nuts, maybe washers, a pencil to make your markings for the drill points, the drill bits, and our Craftsman drill. And right now I've got a one eighth bit I'll use that 1 8 bit for drilling pilot holes to then follow it up with the 5 16 bit. And in our case, our vise did not come with any hardware, so we went to the local hardware store, picked up four bolts and four nuts. And these are pretty cool bolts. They got to have a washer head built into it. And that's why we picked it. From here, let's go ahead and open up our vise. At this point, I have placed the vise on the corner here. And I'm not going to use the template. You can use the template. I just didn't want to mess with it. I just wanted to position the vise on the workbench, do a couple measurements. I measured from this point to the edge of the table. It's the exact same measurement from this point to the edge of the table. And I also had to take into consideration this bottom beam right here that runs all the way to the floor and up. And it is exactly four and a quarter inches in. So I wanted to make sure I placed the vise in a position where that back hole is more than four and a quarter inch from the edge of the table, which it is from here. I will make my markings. Do your best to get in the exact dead center portion of that hole. And I will do this for both front holes. And in order to make my marking for the rear hole, I actually have to extend this vise out. Now that I have those markings, I will carefully remove the vise. Time to drill. And again, I'm starting with the 1 8 drill bit. And do your absolute best to center that tip of the bit on your marking. No need to rush this. Go slow. And a quick tip, once you place the drill bit on the marking, apply just a little bit of friendly downward force to make an indent with the drill bit and then slowly begin your drilling. And by doing that, you will alleviate the chances of your drill bit wandering or slipping once you begin drilling. Three points are drilled. Again, the 1 8 bit, and those are just for the pilot holes. I will now vacuum this up. And now drill these three points with the 5 16 bit. Again, absolutely no need to rush this and go very slow. Some people will tape these holes to alleviate the wood from splinting or separating or cracking. However, just go slow. And making these pilot holes makes the drilling with the larger bit so much more convenient and efficient. All three holes are properly drilled and I vacuumed the floor as well. Coming up underneath, you will see why I had to position the vise the way I did because of the clearance on the frame. What we'll do next is go grab the vise and secure it with the bolts and nuts. Next, I've got two ratchets and sockets that match the nuts and bolts and I will just secure all three. And there it is, DIYers. That is all it takes to install a vise. Just a little bit of patience, tools, hardware, and the correct placement of the vise itself. And not to mention a reliable bench that can actually hold a vise. And another very important thing when installing vices on benches, you want to make sure the rear jaw is in front of the edge of the table. In our case, we're about an eighth of an inch in front of that edge of the table, which is okay for us. And as you saw, we did have just a little bit of restriction down below. I even went ahead and added washers in between the nut and bench, and there it is right there. 
And this is a Yoast brand five inch jaw. And it can actually turn, let me just unlock it slightly. See that? So I can shift the project to the right side of the bench or have it in front, which is an awesome feature with these vices. And that's called a swivel vice. And we definitely recommend a swivel vice when you are doing your searching for a vice. And from here, that is not all we are going to add to this workbench. All right, DIYers, fast forward a few weeks and we have been putting this workbench to use as well as the vise and those new assembled drawers. And those are soft closing drawers specifically made for this workbench. And these are awesome. And we are rebuilding a boat right now, the stern. And it's been fun and challenging all at the same time. We are very pleased with the vise. We love the color, we like how easy it was to DIY install, and we like the reputation and reliability of the Yoast brand. And what we'll do down below in the comment section as well as the description section is again, add the links to assemble videos on the drawers, etc. From here, do us a favor below the video. You will see that thumbs up icon, click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us. We would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.